Holy moly, you guys, Sunday is already halfway over and I haven't gotten half of what I wanted to get done today done yet. I haven't grocery shopped. I haven't started the laundry. And guys, I'm a one day a week laundry person. I just try to knock it all out on Sunday. So it's a problem. I really wanted to make a Costco run this weekend, but I just don't have time for that anymore. So to save time and money, I'm going to head over to Aldi and try to get all of my groceries for the week picked up there. And if that doesn't work out, then I guess maybe tomorrow I can do a pickup order from somewhere else and pick up the remaining items on my way home from school. But in any case, let's get going to Aldi. And when I get back, I'll give you a grocery haul. So let's get started. <laughs> I've made it to Aldi now, but before I run into the store, I wanted to take a moment, in case you're new here, to introduce myself. My name is Cassandra. I am a middle-aged mom of four on a weight loss journey. We have two grown boys who have moved out of the house and two girlies, ages 12 and 9, who still live with us. One of the perks about your children getting a little older is that you do have more time for yourself again. Not everything you see, eat, or do is appropriate for a toddler at this stage of my life and it's kind of nice. So I've been on a self-care and weight loss journey recently. To date, I've lost, I think, 53 pounds, and that's why I started um, this YouTube channel, just as it was kind of started as a mom hobby, and now it's just kind of turned into um, weight loss and fitspo motivation and inspiration and accountability for myself. So I have a whole lot of fun doing it. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel. I typically post videos on Sundays. Um, and give this video a like if you're into grocery hauls. I do a lot of grocery hauls and recipes and things revolving around food here. So I'll see you after I get out of the store. Okay, I've made it back to the car. I spent $168.46 at Aldi. Hopefully I can make all of these things work. I'm gonna get home and figure out a meal plan, which I typically prefer to meal plan grocery list, then shop, but at a place like Aldi, when I do that, I end up having to go to multiple stores or at least one other store to get a few items. So this time, I just decided to walk around Aldi, pick up items, and we're gonna try to make them work for the week so I don't have to go anywhere else. The thing that I'm most excited about and <laughs> want to show you is actually a set of Christmas sheets. It's a Christmas sheet set with a flat sheet, a bottom sheet, and two pillowcases that I got to go in our guest bedroom, um, which doesn't have to be anything special uh, decorated up for Christmas. Uh, my son, who's in the military, is coming home on holiday block leave. He's bringing the girlfriend with him. Um, and so I'm going to put some Christmas sheets and a Christmas bedspread on that bed in the guest room. I got a bedspread. I believe it's an Eddie Bauer bedspread with like a Christmas plaid on it from Home Goods yesterday, but I didn't really feel like any of their sheets were that reasonably priced, but I got these this flannel sheet set at Aldi for $18.99. So let's get home and we'll get the haul started. Okay, let's kick off this haul with the frozen or the refrigerated meat section. So I have two types of chicken here. This is garlic and herb seasoned chicken breasts. I'm going to give those a try. I've never had these from Aldi. I've never even heard of this brand Kirkwood before. And then the other bag of chicken is boneless skinland chick skinland <laughs> boneless skinless chicken thighs from the same brand so i have two types of chicken i got the girls some frozen crinkle cut fries i want to give this boneless pork shoulder roast that's barbecue seasoned a try i can throw that into the ninja foodie one night this week i'm actually going to cook this up uh, right after I'm done filming this haul. This is shaved beef steak, and the picture shows it on a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Um, so I'm going to cook up some peppers and onions with it and add some mozzarella cheese, and my husband and I are going to have this for lunch. I also got some hard salami and thick sliced pepperoni. These, this is going to be for kind of, you know, make your own lunchable type situations. I like to eat these with cheese sticks or cheese cubes, particularly the salami, even though I have never had this brand from Aldi. So we're going to give those things a try. Oh, and then the last item, I'm going to save this one for Christmas Eve. 
So for autoimmune reasons, I'm gluten free. And then uh, since I'm trying to lose weight, I happen to also be low carb slash keto ish. But I saw these frozen gluten free donuts. These are gingerbread flavored. So I got a box. I'm going to throw them in the freezer and I'm going to save those and maybe have those on Christmas Eve with my coffee. I thought that might be worth giving those a try. And it's just something new. I've never seen them before. I noticed at Aldi, they do have this Live G free brand. So they have quite a few gluten-free items for sale at Aldi. Okay, this is the pantry section. I got my daughter Issa this box of ramen noodle soups. She really likes those. I'm not sure if Evie likes them or not. Evie does, however, like Pop-Tarts. I got a container of Pop-Tarts. Um, we've been picking up lots of low-carb bars since we've been eating lower in carb and this is my favorite flavor from Aldi. This is the chocolate coconut bar. It has two grams of net carbs. I really like this one. It says it's keto friendly and then my husband always likes anything with a chocolate peanut butter combination so I got him uh, this box of bars just to add to the pantry. Uh, my children love anything with these uh, tortillas so this is the Aldi brand fit and active low carb tortillas. Um, if I were at a different grocery store, I like to get the Mission Carb Sense, I think is what they're called. Something like that. The Mission ones are good though. Um, we've had Teddy Grahams before. We've never had the Aldi brand of Teddy Grahams, but these are pre-packaged, so I thought they would be good for snacks for their lunches at school this week. So I've got some chocolate Graham Bears and some honey Graham Bears. All right, on top of the stove here, I have the item that I'm probably most um, excited to share with you. This is a flannel sheet set. I got it in queen size for the guest room and it's got little Christmas cars um, carrying Christmas trees on it. I think that's super cute. And this whole set was only, I think it was $18.99. So I'm gonna wash those and throw those on the guest bed. So that'll be ready for guests that are coming on December 18th. I think those are really cute. Um, we are Coke Zero fans, but Aldi did not have Coke Zero today. So I went ahead and got a 12 pack of Diet Coke. I also grabbed um, this package of their Ultra Strong toilet paper. I like to grab toilet paper every weekend, even if I'm not out of it, just so I can keep it in stock. I also got two dozen eggs. We go through a lot of eggs these days eating low carb. Okay, with the exception of these dino chicken nuggets, I would call this our health food section or our veggie section. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and talk about these dino nuggets and get those out of the way. I got these dino nuggets for the girls. I know the dino nuggets at Costco are super popular. I don't know that I've ever bought them. Maybe I have. Um, and the girls don't eat chicken nuggets that often. You know, they're older now, but I went ahead and decided to get those because they were a pretty good price. I got three types of berries. We've got some blackberries, some raspberries, and some strawberries. I'll probably end up eating the blackberries and raspberries, but the girls love their strawberries with whipped topping. And then I have a variety of veggies here. I always feel like you should have something green with your meals, or at least that's the kick I'm on these days. Um, my husband eats it, though he doesn't always appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, or the flavor, I mean. So... I've got this bag of chopped kale, which I think kale is really good with Italian sausage, particularly in soups. So I'm gonna need to pick up some Italian sausage from somewhere else later in the week because I didn't see any at Aldi. I also have this bag of spinach. This is great for smoothies. If you're into smoothies, I'm not, um, but I like to put spinach in my eggs and I love to eat spinach on salads. So that's what that's for. I got the girls some bananas. I feel like bananas are feast or famine around here. Either we eat them all or we don't. I've got this bag of sweet onions, which I, it looks like there's about five onions in here, which is good because we go through a lot of onions. I have two small acorn squash. I like to make stuffed squash. Um, I think it's really delicious with boars and cheese and um, you can throw in some apples. Italian sausage is also good with stuffed squash, but I'll probably put in a different protein if I use Italian sausage with some kale this week. Um, I got these, this bag of green beans, um, for roasting. I've been on 
I've been pre preferring asparagus over green beans, but just for variety, I got some green beans this week. This is a bag of jalapenos to make jalapeno poppers. Bell peppers here. This was a really good price. These three bell peppers were maybe about, a, I think, $1.60 or $1.69, or I felt like that was a reasonable price. And then this is probably one of my favorites with balsamic and bacon um but probably my husband's least favorite are these brussels sprouts but again i just wanted something different and for variety we haven't had those in a while and then i got this um bag of on not onions this bag of lemons because i don't often put lemon on my food when I'm cooking, but I love to um, squeeze it into my water. And these days I've been on a lemon and sweet and low kick making my own lemonade. All right, and now we are to our last section, which is some refrigerated items and some pantry items. So let's go through maybe the refrigerated items first. So I've got a half gallon of milk, which, um, you know, when your children are small, you're probably buying a gallon or more per week, but we're to the point to where we can go through about a half gallon about every week and a half. I got this bag of shredded mozzarella. I'm gonna use this with the um, shaved beef for the Philly cheesesteak. Uh, dish that I'm about to make. My husband has been running and since I didn't make it to Costco to get more Zip Fizz, I did spot these G-Zeros for him at Aldi. So I have three flavors of those from a Honey Boo. And then other refrigerated items. This jalapeno artichoke dip from Aldi is so tasty. I really like it. So I specifically went looking for it and I was able to find it. So I got that again. This is the boards and cheese that I'll probably use for my stuffed acorn squash, cottage cheese to go with my berries. And then in terms of pantry items, my children have never had the Bon Italia mini beef ravioli, but they do like the Chef Boyardee brand. So I got a couple of cans of those for them to try. I got a couple of cans of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato paste um, just for the pantry in general. I feel like I use diced tomatoes almost every week, so I'm not thinking of a specific recipe, but you just can never have too many canned tomato products in your pantry, I feel like. And then last night we were having... Well, the girls were having spaghetti. We were having zucchini getty. Um, and we did not have any of this sprinkle dried Parmesan cheese. So I picked up that when I spotted it. And then I thought this roasted garlic Alfredo would be good on some chicken this week. So I got that. Um, since we've been eating low in carb, the girls would probably have their chicken and Alfredo with pasta. And we would maybe have it with those Brussels sprouts or some other vegetable. But I think I hope this one is good. They had three different flavors. I got the roasted, gar roasted garlic. I think they also had an original and a four cheese Alfredo at Aldi today. I mentioned just a couple of seconds ago that we had zucchini spaghetti last night for dinner. And if you are trying to eat more vegetables or eat lower in carbs and you want to try a pasta dish my husband highly recommends zucchini noodles over spaghetti squash i like either but he thinks the zucchini noodles are 10 times better than having your pasta and meat sauce with the spaghetti squash um, shreds. So whenever I um, sauteed the zucchini noodles for just like three minutes last night i added garlic powder, onion powder, and Lowry seasoning salt. Um, he also added some red pepper flakes once they were on his plate. And then we topped that with a, just a traditional um, marinara and ground beef concoction and it was really tasty and that's the trick to zucchini noodles if you've never tried it before don't boil them they will turn to mush and don't cook them for very long at all because if you do they get mushy and kind of watery so you just want to take those zucchini noodles and throw them in your pan and saute them for three maybe four minutes max and go ahead and season those up and they'll be really tasty if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching my Aldi grocery haul. If you're into grocery hauls, give this video a thumbs up. If you're just into mom life motivation, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Subscribing is free. If you click subscribe, that'll just put my video into your YouTube, what do you call it, menu? 
uh, I don't know, you on the on the left over there, um, my name will show up in your subscription list and whenever I post a new video, it'll get recommended to you in your feed. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right back here next Sunday in a brand new video.